right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So, man, we have another, right, another Hassan Reddick report here from uh, Rich Samini. And uh, this one's pretty crazy, right? This one's pretty crazy. Let, let's, let's just dive into it. Let's not waste time here. So ESPN reporter Rich Samini believes that New York Jets edge rusher Hassan Reddick, who has yet to play this season amid his holdout uh, for a new contract, would not be, quote unquote, opposed to a trade back to the Philadelphia Eagles. On the podcast called Flight Deck with Rich Samini, he said, uh, in quotations, let's put it this way. A little birdie told me that Reddick, I don't think would be opposed to something like that. Samini said, I think Reddick is so frustrated with the Jets situation, and of course, he did request a trade in August, so frustrated that he wouldn't mind going back to Philadelphia. A lot of things would have to fall into place, which makes it kind of far-fetched, but it's an interesting situation to look at nonetheless. So my first question here is, is you know, who's this who's this little birdie that, that Samini's talking about, right? I, like, this situation has been going on for literal months, right? Regular season, preseason, training camp, mini camp, since he was traded, right? This has been a talking point. And we have all of these different reports coming out from all of these different sources, but yet nobody, you know, knows exactly what the issue is. And so, you know, this sounds as though it's coming from the Reddick side, right? It doesn't make much sense, uh, at least to me, if Samini got a tip from the Jets side of it, right? Think think of like the Connor Hughes reports, right? Which are just completely team sided. Um, you know, would would somebody from the Jets let Samini know that Hassan Reddick is is so frustrated with the team that he's you know he he's open to rejoining the Philadelphia Eagles? You know, that's, to me, it, it just it just seems too far fetched, right? Too too hard to believe. Now, another thing that we have to bring up is the fact that the Eagles run a completely different style of defense now, right? They have Vic Fangio in the building. They have Bryce Huff, and Bryce Huff obviously has not done a whole lot for the you know for the Eagles. But I will say, you know, Bryce Huff was never really a top ten edge rusher. You know, I, I'm not through three games going to say, okay, Bryce Huff is horrible. He's not what he once was. He's a shell of himself. I, I think it's more so new city, new team. First time ever on a new team, by the way. Um, new system, trying to get used to everybody around him. You know, do you want him to perform a little bit better? Yeah, of course. Um, but, you know, he's also playing with the defensive coordinator, which, you know, from the sound of it, he holds grudges against players. Um, I mean, we all saw the reaction from the Miami Dolphins players once Fangio uh, and the Dolphins went their separate ways. It just felt like everybody rejoiced in Miami, like, thank God he's gone. And so, you know, in Philadelphia, they, it's not just a Bryce Health problem. It, it, it's really, to me at least, right, th th there's multiple issues on the, on the Eagles defense. But really, the main, the main question here is, why would the Eagles want Hassan Reddick back, right? If Reddick wants a new deal... And the Eagles knew this already, and they traded him away to the New York Jets. Yeah, they recouped a pick, um, but you know, would Reddick be in a situation to get traded back to the Eagles? And now, all of a sudden, after being fined eight million dollars and traded by the team, in, you know, initially, now he's ready to just suit up in, you know, like a month. You know, you would assume like a month into the regular season for what he's currently on. To me, that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I, you know, I, I think Reddick wouldn't mind going to the Eagles because it's just not with the Jets, it, you know, at this point. Now, let's talk about the hypothetical, right? Let's just, you know, the Eagles trade Bryce off to the Jets and the Jets trade Hassan Reddick to the Eagles. Would I be down for that? Absolutely. 110%. Do I think it happens? No. Um, you know, I just don't see Howie Roseman giving up on a guy after four, three, four weeks. You know, that he just signed to a three-year contract. It, it, I, I don't think the Eagles operate like that. And I think they moved off of Reddick knowing that, you know what, we don't want to pay you the type of money that you're looking for. So we're just going to move on. Uh, because, you know, Reddick never had a problem with any of the teammates. He didn't have a problem with any of the coaches. Obviously, his on-field performance was still, you know, at, at a really high level. It's not like he was... Uh, think of like Von Miller last season, right? Where you're getting paid a ton of money, but you're not really getting after the quarterback. You're not making an impact whatsoever. And it's like, all right, we, we just got to dump you to clear cap or dump you to, you know, find an upgrade somewhere. It's just, no, Reddick's price tag was too much. So would I take Bryce Huff back on this Jets team? 1,000%. Uh, and especially if it means, 
especially if it means trading away Hassan Reddick and just being done with the entire situation. And then we get, you know, on the back end of the guy that we should have just re-signed in, in the first place. Um, you know, of course, hindsight is twenty twenty, but I, I want to say the majority of Jets fans wanted Bryce Huff to begin with, undrafted, homegrown player who performed in two different styles of defense, uh, defenses with the Jets, right? Greg Williams and then, of course, uh, Robert Sala came off the best season of his career. It really seemed like he was you know, really starting to peak as a player. And we, we were going to kind of see the sustained level of success. And he wasn't brought back. Uh, was that the Jets decision? Was that Huff's decision? I, I think it was maybe a combination of both. I think from the Jets side, f- you know, for whatever reason, they just didn't want to pay him. And then from Huff's side, he's probably thinking, okay, you know, if I have an opportunity to go get on the field more, make, uh, you know, have more opportunities to get more sacks. I'm not this rotational edge rusher um, and the Jets don't want to pay me clearly, then, you know, I would rather move on too. There just was no sense of urgency because Jets fans were literally talking about that a year in advance. Like, when is it going to get done? Because everybody assumed, you know, like if, if you have an undrafted player, and he grows every year, and he's getting better every year, and he's he's coming off the best season of his career, and he's playing a position that is a high impact position like edge rusher, especially in this style of defense. You would ideally want him back, especially especially if if Huff was not asking for top five money, top ten money. Bryce Huff is the seventeenth highest paid pass rusher in football right now. That is completely doable. So, look. I have a lot of questions about these Hassan Reddick reports. Um, I'm I'm just tired of the situation, right? He's either going to get traded. He's just going to hold out all year. He could show up at some point so he's not fined anymore, um, you know, or, or they find some sort of solution. But, you know, at, at this point, you, you just kind of feel like the solution is uh, it's just too far gone, too far gone. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. As always, go Jets. Thank you.